we're going to give you some help. There, yeah. are, there are certain names that you need to pay attention to in September so that when it comes to championship time, Jones, mm-hmm. whether that be ACC championship, NCAA championship for fall sports, you can seem smart. And you can say, ah, I've been watching fill in blank name of person ever since September. This person's key to the team. Right. Such a person is Riley Heck mm. from Carolina she Field. She joined us today she's, in Pod World Headquarters. She's with us in Pod World Headquarters. This is your chance to go ahead and seem smart later in the season when you can say things like, oh, I heard Riley on the Carolina Insider. I've, I've been following her closely. So, Riley, thanks so much for stopping by. Thank you, too. I'm excited. ACC opener today for the Tar Heels. How are, how are things feeling uh, team-wise? Confident, definitely prepared, and we're excited. We love this day. We love to open up at ACC. So. I like that Riley's first word was confident. Like, you seem confident to me, Riley. Thank you. Is that something? I mean, is that is that a focus for you guys? It's a good quality to have, and I think our team has it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah look at that. You want to fight me about it? That's what Riley just Plus, said. Plus, let's be honest, you're from New Jersey. Oh, yeah. So is that that's a little bit of the New Jersey. It's definitely a Jersey thing, but I think team thing. I think I brought some confidence to the team, too. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Okay, big transition this year for you guys, obviously. What what has that transition been like going from a head coach who had been doing it for a really long time to somebody who had never done it before? What What's that transition been like? It's been a bunch of things. It's been fun. Um, obviously, there's hardships to it. There's been a lot of adapting. Um, but in general, I think that it's been great and we're all happy. So. Sure. It, adapting in what way? Like, what have you guys had to adapt to? Just different people in different yeah. places, different people speaking and leadership roles. Um, literally everything just is different. But at the same time, we know Carolina and we know our program and how things roll. So it's been pretty smooth. So Ultimately, you have to play. So, yeah. so when it's come to the actual playing, what do you feel like this team's done well so far and what needs to get a little better? Because, as we know, the teams in the ACC, some of the best teams in the country. Well, um, I think that our team has just done well being competitive. We are a competitive team on and off the field. In practices, we are, like, sweating and diving for every ball, and I think that helps us out in the game because we don't – we hate losing. Sure. And I think no matter who it, like, obviously with our new coach, I think Aaron has always been, like, the most competitive person out there. And I think as her as her as our coach, it's honestly, like, making us the most competitive team to be. Even though we've lost some really good players, we still were like, hey, we can do better. It's, so we talk about this when we have uh, a lot of times when we have – uh, women's soccer athlete talking with us about the competitive nature of the practices. Mm-hmm. And I don't think everybody would like that. Like, I, I think maybe some people would say, hey, this is practice. We don't need to be going this hard at each other. Why is that something you guys embrace? And why do you think it makes you better? Um, well, we just set standards and we want to always meet or just work for those standards. And if we don't, we're like, not. we're not really okay with it we're like well we always can do better and I think that's a thing for I think everyone that plays a sport at Carolina we're all so competitive that's Mm -hmm. why we're such a good like athletic place and I don't know about other schools but I think that's like a one strong passion that we have so what have you noticed is different about the defensive attention that you're getting this year you had a huge freshman year and I, you're towards the top of every team scouting report at this point, I would think. How are teams defending you differently? Um, well, last year, a lot of girls were focused on Aaron. Um, and obviously, I was new to college, so like a lot of teams were like Aaron and Aaron focused. And that gave me a good opportunity. And this year, we have new players stepping up on the forward line. And I think that more girls have come towards me, but I think that I've learned to, well, I have other teammates, right? Give them chances too. Like, it's not all about, like, one person. I think that we play really well as a team together, and if we keep doing that, we'll be fine. Why was Carolina 
your choice, as Adam said, you're from New Jersey originally, so not super far away, but not right around the corner either. Why was this the spot for you? You really want to know? Oh, uh, yes, I do, <laughs> Riley. Um, ever since I was maybe, I think my first time here was third grade, <laughs> and um, the one thing I wanted ever since I started playing field hockey was to win a national championship. And I was like, no, mission Check. accomplished, Literally, baby. <laughs> what place? Well, I know for a fact I would win a national championship. That's where I wanted to go. And I picked here. Yeah. And I was right. Look, smart choice. I mean, nobody can tell Riley that she didn't already see the future, essentially. Yeah, that's right. You played uh, in high school for your mom for a long time. Um, yes. Yeah, I did. What's the best thing about playing for your mom? And what's the hardest thing about playing for your mom? Best thing is she knows me so well. Um, she literally coached me since I was, like, four. Like, she put me in the game of fit hockey, so without her I wouldn't be here. But In a lot of ways, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. <laughs> in every aspect, actually. Um, but I think that one of the worst things is – I didn't say worse. No, worst. I said challenging. Hard. Yes. Hardest, challenging. Sorry, sorry. Yep, right, you're right. Hardest things would be that she's my mom. And <laughs> honestly, like, you always get in fights with your mom. So, like, I hate fighting on the field. <laughs> it's, fine at the, it's fine at the house. But when there's a little thing on the field, it's just, like, hard for people to see, you know? Sure. Yeah. I'd be, that would be a difficult dynamic. Like, but, I mean, it's one thing, you're right, it's one thing to have your mom, like, tell you, hey, you need to go put your dishes in the dishwasher. Yeah. It's another thing for her to say, you need to be pushing up more on the fast break or whatever. Yeah. And be like, I know, mom, back off. I think it's better, though, like, that only works when the kid is clearly the best player, like you were. Like, I think if the kid is sort of in the middle, then everybody's super sensitive about everything. Right, yeah. But if, and you don't have to say you were the best, we'll say you were the best. <laughs> If, if you're the best player on the team, I think that makes it somewhat better, at least for the coach, maybe not for you. I mean, definitely, like, being um, – I mean, she was my head coach my senior year of high school, and I definitely had more of, like, an advantage, I guess I would say, just because I was one of the better players on the team, and um, she was the coach. So, like, I kind of knew what was going, like, going on, um, but – I would just say that, like, I don't know, just it was just a weird thing to have, but I loved it at the same time because sure. she she just, like, knew me as a player. So, like, we didn't really get in much fights, but that was probably, like, obviously, like, the hard thing. You mentioned the national title a, a season ago and a, a dominant season for you guys, undefeated, and, and win the title. What What did you take from that year as a super young player that maybe now with a different – a different group that you can use some lessons maybe learned last year that you can use this year and moving forward the rest of your career? Um, definitely just learning from other people that been through it before mm -hmm. and just adapting it and putting, like, putting that in your brain so you can teach others, you can become more of a leader. I think that that's like my, one of my main goals for this team is to become more of a leader and step up and become the player I want to be. And um, last year as a freshman, like, it was just like a whole year of learning. And then also, like, trying to play your best. Sure. So just taking that all in and putting it, putting it out there, yeah. You've played a ton internationally. What's the coolest place you've been? Ooh. Oh, God. Um, China. Really? Really? Cool. Unexpected answer. Yeah, that's not where coolest, I thought you were going. Coolest place I've been is China. I wouldn't say I would, like ever want to go back to China. <laughs> You've done it once. Yeah, I've done it for two weeks. I lived there. I literally lived there for two weeks, and it was very hard, especially when you're in seventh grade doing <laughs> it. <laughs> I would think I so. I see that. Yeah. Um, but you don't it, speak a lot of Chinese, I bet. I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> I would just use my translator and just be like, oh, it's so sweet. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, so, I mean, I've been on the fastest thing in the world, um, train, mm -hmm. and that's pretty cool to me, because, like, I can brag, I was on the bullet train, so. <laughs> what have you taken out of those international experiences? Like, what have you learned from all those? Um, definitely just the, how people play differently in other countries, like, how, like, when I went to Holland, girls are, like, 
wake up, feel hockey, eat, feel hockey, <laughs> breathe, feel hockey. And, like, they don't go to college. Like, they go to college, but, like, they're literally just, like, feel hockey, feel hockey, feel hockey, which here it's, like, way different. Like, I don't know. It's just, like, yeah, we all play, I played field hockey, like, every day. Like, but it's just, like, their head is, like, fit hockey. And, like, everyone else <laughs> in their family is fit hockey. And, like, I don't know. It's just... Just people's, a lot of field hockey is what you're saying. People's mindsets are way different, and um, I think it's pretty cool to see it. So, I think you probably just answered this. What has to happen for the United States to take that step internationally and, and get to the point where they're competing with, with countries like that regularly? Um, field like, hockey. Yeah. You've got to think like, field hockey. Like you just need to – that needs to be, like, your main thing. Like, number one, if you really, like – want this to be the next level for USA like we gotta like you gotta make changes to it but like obviously it's sacrifice and some people are scared of sacrifice so hmm. yeah that's true that's some wise words Riley what's your feeling on Wawa versus Sheets versus Wawa. Bucky's oh whoa 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 hold on you heard I said Bucky's right I don't even know what Bucky's is okay Riley we're gonna Riley, ask you okay, I hate to say this, this we're gonna have to ask you to leave <laughs> hold on nice job uh, you keep talking I'm gonna show Riley a couple of our Bucky's things here <laughs> okay so you know Wawa, obviously. You know Sheets. Bucky's is like Wawa Man. times ten. Look at this. It's a Bucky's Beaver Christmas ornament. Like that's pretty cute. You right? got any of that from Wawa? Nope. Yeah. Does Wawa a- have a mascot? They have a Hoagie Fest. And so what now? <laughs> <laughs> is it as cool as Bucky Beaver? There's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> So, Ask, so Wawa has what now? They have a lot of options of food. <laughs> <laughs> but what's that thing you said that they have? The the hoagie they, fest. The bird, you know, like the bird Wawa, right on the. You ever seen the Wawa like sign? I mean, I have seen a Wawa. Yes. Mm-hmm. There's a there's a bird on it. <laughs> That's your primary selling point. There's a bird on the sign. You just gotta. You gotta live it to understand it. You gotta Adam. go. You gotta live the wah wah lifestyle. For like a month, and you'll be like, Riley was right. <laughs> I have to go every day for a month before I believe. <laughs> Is that because I've given up on life? <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine, Riley, you were right. Can I please not go to Wawa on day thirty-one? Um, other than going to Wawa, what do you like to do <laughs> away from field hockey? I love to go to the beach. I live at the beach. Really? Yeah. What beach do you like around here? Um, do you go to North Carolina beaches no. or are you going up like the sh- Jersey Shore? Jersey Shore beaches. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Explain to me the difference in a Jersey sh- Jersey Shore beach and a North Carolina beach. Um, well, I can't really do that because I've never been to a North Carolina beach. You have beach. never been to a North Carolina beach? Been to South Carolina beach. I will allow that, I guess. My Was it Myrtle? No, um, no, it was Pauly's okay. Island. Okay, that's, okay. Uh, that's fine. Okay, yeah, that's okay. acceptable. Okay, Uncle so, has a house there. so. Okay, so what's the difference in a Jersey beach and just a... Carolina Beach. Um, well, if you talk about like the waves, I think New Jersey has bigger waves. Mm. I kind of I was a surfer back then. Really? Whoa. Yeah. Um, that seems incredibly difficult. Oh, it's really hard. Yeah. I was scared to do the big waves, and they were like, what, five feet? <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen Point Break, the movie? Yes. Oh, no, <laughs> I was not expecting that answer. <laughs> I've seen a lot of surfing movies. Yeah, nice, good. <laughs> um, Give me two. <laughs> Soul <laughs> Surfer. Talk- Blue Crush, too, right there. Wow. Yeah. That's good. I love movies. Um, okay. Getting into ACC play, field hockey-wise, what, what is important? You guys, 4-1, four 4-1 one, four one right right now. Uh, what's important for you guys to be the best you can be here over the next couple of months? Um, well, I think we always like to say, what's the next most important game? That's this game, Louisville. Right. And that's all we want to focus on. And we want to focus on our goals and obviously give it our all. Um, We're a competitive team and we're ready.